House of Scouts. House of Scouts. House of Scouts Television. House of Scouts Television. Right, so Kieran, you've been back now on your fight with your adverts now. This is your third. Two, yes, we've got my third coming up. Third and fourth. True, yeah. Third and fourth. That's it. Got two fights coming up next week, Kieran. Make it a 3 to 1 record this Friday. There you go, there you go. Right, starting on first question. How hard's this camp been for you compared to others? Uh, to the two that I've been at, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, as you've been putting it as a trainer, you know, and learning new stuff and that, you know, you've been picking up and doing it with us. It's been, you know, like really intense, like you've been playing the, you know, ball. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's been more of like a wrestling techniques, you know, yeah. as well as boxing and, and doing different circuits and stuff. And, you know, um, actually, I've learned a lot, you know. You can see by yourself, people at home can see Keaton's, Keaton's got a well toned body, he's worked hard for it, and he is probably with you and John Carter without trying to single anyone out, but he's are probably the two fittest lads in the class. He's just you felt the pain on Tuesday, yeah, he yeah. left you till last, he's had to do five rounds on the bike before he's met Dave. Yeah, and Dave, uh, you know, pushes, pushes a lot in, in that one. Oh, of course, Dave, Dave wouldn't be Dave without pushing you to the limit, you know what I mean? Yeah, that man, yeah. That man knows what he's doing, but he knows also that. He won't push you too far, he knows your limits because yeah, yeah. he's worked with you long enough. Well, you know, I went to another, um, I went to a, a camp I had told you a little while ago um, down in in another boxing club in Everton and they were doing two sessions a week like you are but they had like two professionals on at the time, you know what I mean? And it was just like, even compared to this, it was half the epic, yeah. you know what I mean? Even technique wise, you know, technique, you know, it wasn't, you know, half as well taught as what it is between you guys here. Yeah? I think we've got a good understanding here though, Kieran. I think there's no I think we work together as a team we all learn as we're going along, coaches and the fighters as well. We all we're all like a unit. Um we're getting to the point now where there's Dave, you know, you've been signing in now for a couple of years with Dave. Dave even gave it his favourite course with everyone at home. You know, Kieran being what now? This is your third camp, so this is what yeah. probably like two about consecutive of like the last two years really, hasn't it? I've been boxing here since October last year. Yeah, so you know, he's nearly two years down the line and you, we've built a good rapport with each other and with the other coaches. Now, this camp that's been going on, as you say, so we've touched on it a few times, I'm saying it's the third camp, but what's been the best part of this camp? Um, like like a memory or just a thing in general? Either or. What's something that sticks out for you? I mean, man, every, every day you come by, something different, so, you know, you kind of live with a different good feeling every time you come here, but... Um, I think the thing that sticks out for me most is the sparring. You know, I remember when I first came here, yeah, just first camp. Um, at first, when we all got put in with Kenzie, at first, that was pretty tough because he doesn't hold back, you know, in a good way. Um, but, you know, the first time I sparred, then I, I, have to say, I said to Dave, I said, well, I'm flinching, man, I'm just scared. Do you know what I mean? It's the first time in a fight, I never got in a fight. But now, this training camp, you know, sparring and being able to see a difference in your confidence, I mean, like, you know, not flinching at all, man. You know, you're just going it. forward and. I think after a while you become immune to the feel of punches. I mean, it's still <laughs> ache, but too, yeah. You know, we're coming, so your your brain and your body's already set for it. Whereas last That's time it. you're thinking, shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit, you know what I mean? But that natural instinct, and obviously with time, you yeah. become a better boxer and you, you, your mind sets itself for it. You've got to be Sweet. physically ready, but mentally ready as well. Everyone goes, I think everyone goes into a ring to spar and fight thinking all they've got to do is throw punches and forget that you've actually got to learn to take them and avoid them. How's and that's the, part of the fight. How was the fan when your mates reacted to your fighting? Are they worried? Are they happy? Are they... They, well, me mum and my aunties and that, you know, it was a dead soft. Like, they, they don't really like to talk about it. But, you know, my dad's come to, you know, a couple of fights and my uncles and stuff. And, you know, so I've had, you know, the male support me and that. Um, I mean, my friends and my friends have been dead supportive. You know, my close ones especially. Um, you know, and just giving me a little, you know, thumbs up over Facebook. You know, egging me to carry on and that. So, you know, it's been good. Nice, yeah, okay. What are your nerves like? I know you're a confident person, Keenan, but obviously yeah. you all have a bit of nerves leading up to the fight because you're actually going into two battles with somebody. But yeah. how are you finding your nerves now compared to the first and the second pound? Do you find, do you find it gets easier? Yeah. yeah or do you more. find that it's because you're fighting more, you got more of a. Uh, people have got more expect, ex, expectations of you winning now? Or, yeah, you know? absolutely, man. Well, the, the second fight that I fought, uh, you know, I was actually really nervous for because. Um, I won my first fight, but I felt like it was a step up in the intensity of fighter for my second one. I've I seen it coming, um, and I felt to put on a good show, but coming up the nerves, I think, put me too much into a, 
and you know all systems go and yeah. I, I, you know i lost control of my mind and only use my emotions whereas this time i've realized the lesson is not just to be fit to have your technique but to be in control of your mind and body so it yeah, nice. does feel good at the moment perfect i agree with you now you know we're at the end now we've got one more training session left and then we've got the big night itself yeah. but you're going to come back and fight in october of course yeah i'll come back and, and fight you know until I mean a wheelchair man, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, that's, that's the boot in you, that key, that's the boot in you. How did the lads be me during the training camp? What's the banter like? What's uh, the, the camaraderie like? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just dead sad. I mean, I might actually really grateful that they have put up with me and my smelly ass, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you know, you can't can't ask can't ask for a better community than this. You know, um, it's just because it's, it's not just people from Beetle like me as well. It's people from all over the pool, and, and you know, we even have the different fighters come to the fights from the world and uh, Wigan and stuff. And you know, everyone, you know, uh, you know, uh, Nelson Mandela said um, that you know, sport is is the only language that everyone can speak together. And I think the part of you know boxing is that you know as a sport is that everyone comes here come from different backgrounds you have different views of the world but when you're here you sweat and you're working hard together to be honest you're punching each other's face in and, and the sparring or whatever you know body spot you can't help but have respect for each other and have a laugh Definitely. fast four questions now we've got four questions to go we're gonna have four questions answer them quickly on quiz answers first one who's the class clown Kara. gotta be gotta be to be honest <laughs> Out of all the interviews I've done, the only one who's mentioned John now for me, John Carter is the one that keeps everyone going, you know what I mean? His Rocky <laughs> quotes, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It is banter with Dave and John John's a naturally funny lad, so he always makes it yeah. especially for the new lads who come in, John makes a big thing and I like the way John does this. John makes a big effort of going on to the new lads when you come in and you can yeah, see yourself yeah. and, and you know yourself when you come here, Keir, and it's quite nervous, especially yeah, yeah. coming into an environment like this when you don't know anyone and John's John's jokes and sense of humour cracks the ice and breaks the ice with these kids and makes people feel and I'm forever grateful for John for how he makes the last feet yeah. around him, you know what well, I mean? To be honest, when when I spar people, I like to say to people what I appreciate the boss sparring with them. And Scarra's one of the only people who when I spar with them, you know, body spar in the ring comes out and says, you know, Kieran, you've really improved on this, so you're doing this really well. And that really motivates me to carry on because someone's came out here and, and yeah. said to you, you're doing well. Exactly. You know, right, and outside okay. your training. You know. One thing you'll take away from this experience? Uh, courage. Courage. Yeah, yeah. Right, if you're going out for a street fight or if you're going out for a fight, and you know, obviously you know you're a, you're a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. You're, um, but if you're that too, you have to pick three fa- f- uh, fighting boxers, whether it's the current or from old school era. Three professional boxers, who would you take to you for a fair fight? Who would it take you with a fight? No, who would you take with you to go and have a fight? If you needed three <laughs> boxes to back it up, who would you take with you? Oh, um, three, three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'd take Tyson. Um, I'd take uh, Lomachenko. Um, and I'd take Joshua because that guy is a fucking boss. Yes. Right, okay. Icon of a generation, Joshua. Yeah. And the last question for you, Keen and Mark. What's your prediction for next Friday? My prediction? What's your I'm going to win both fights. And then I'm going to come up with that belt. That's my go. prediction. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sculpted for your viewing. Keen and Ma. Yeah. Thanks, guys. House of Scouts. House of Scouts. House of Scouts Television. House of Scouts. House of Scouts. House of Scouts Television. House of Scouts Television.